What's up guys, it's your boy Dom and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Dom's Confession Booth. This is part two. Man, y'all love the first part so much that I decided to do a second part. If you don't know what Dom's Confession Booth is, this is where my viewers will tell me their deepest, darkest secrets. It is all com- It is all confidential. Nobody knows who sent them. I don't know who sent them. Only the person who sent them in sent them. So let's get into it. All right, so this is gonna be our first confession. One time I knocked a little girl over at King's Dominion and when she fell, her lollipop broke and she started crying. I laughed. You're a menace, you know that bro? What type of person takes joy of seeing a little kid cry? I mean, not gonna lie, sometimes I do for real. If the, if the little kid be annoying sometimes, like, let's say a little kid just running around being a nuisance and they fall, hurt themselves. Don't you say, oh, that person got what they deserved. Exactly, you know you do, but you're still a menace. There was a boy in my first grade class and one day he asked me if I wanted to see his you know what. What do you mean by that? Me being curious, I said yes. And he showed me under the table, oh, his, you know. He then asked if he could see my cherries. I think that's, I don't know. I'm trying to keep it as PG as possible for you guys, man. And I asked him what that was. And he lifted up my shirt to see. We showed each other those things for the next few weeks and I never saw him again. So bro got packed up. That's tough. That's kind of disgust. Not really. I mean, it's first grade. But still, that's weird though. That jit was weird. That little boy was weird. Wonder what he doing right now. Next one. When I was younger, I tied a plastic chair to the back of a four wheeler and taped my brother in it. <laughs> once we started riding the chair, once we started riding, it's supposed to be like a comedy, bro. The chair broke in half and he fell on the ground. You know, you know, that's some like white folk activity right there. That's like white folk activity on me. That's white folk activity. I don't even got nothing to say for that, except that. I had a lasso from a rodeo and I used to tie it around my chest and hang from a tree like Spider-Man. But the people going down the road, it looked like I was hanging myself. <laughs> well, darn. Well, I mean, I don't really have nothing to say about that. You know, I've never experienced that in my life. But I know you're white, that's for sure. I, I know you're white. I'm a relative. You'll never guess who. My relatives watch my videos. Why do they watch my, okay, a gross warning. Okay, for the people who get triggered a lot, this is like a warning for you types, you know what I'm saying? One time when I was little, I pooped in a bag because I just wanted to and I left it under the bathroom sink. Years later, I completely forgot about it and I was searching in the cabinet under the sink when I felt a bag and something hard in it. I got flashbacks from what I did those many years ago. And being the response, and being the response, and being, <gasps> and being the responsible person, and the best thing to do, I just left it there. I was too grossed out. I never took it out and forgot about it. We moved out of the apartment, and I can't imagine how the new owners of the of that apartment felt when they found that bag. Yo. No. I mean, it's one thing that my family watches my videos, but for my family to tell me this, it's kind of make me like embarrassed of my family name for real. Knowing that they did something heinous like this. I'm like, got me tearing up, bro. <laughs> no, I'm just playing, I'm just playing, but bro, bro, wh whatever cousin this was, message me, cause I, I want, I want to talk to you, bro, like for real. I don't, just because, no, I don't care if you were little, bro. That's messed up, that's nasty. That's, that's nasty. That's nasty. Messed up my whole mood, bro. Like the first one, the first one has some crazy ones. Crazier than these, you know what I'm saying? But like, messed up my, let's go, let's keep on going. 
<sighs> I meant I'm never going to receive the love I give. I will always try to be the best for someone and it return. I get some nothing specific back. I feel so alone. I surround myself at all times to fill some sort of hole that always that's always been there. Art, I, I have a strong feeling this is the same person from the first video. If you haven't, go check that out. Basically, in the first video, I'm not going to tell you, but this person gave me a whole spiel, some crazy stuff going on in their life everything how they feel every day I feel like this is the same person and when you say um i will always try to be the best for someone and return i get nothing specific back what are you actually looking for you know because when you do a good deed right you do a good deed because you're a good person and that's the right thing to do right that's the right mindset when you do a good deed when you do something good towards someone you don't have to all you don't you shouldn't you shouldn't Always try to look for what they're going to give you because it is going to come to you without you trying to look for it. You see, when you say nothing specific back, what do you want back? Is it that you're looking for something so, so specific that when you don't get that, you get bummed out, which in a way is not good. It's not a good right of thinking. So whatever it is, bro, just message me or something, man. I feel like it is the same person. Message me about it. Message me. Talk to me, man. My socials are in the description. Talk to me. You feel me? I once had to pull over on the side of the road because I was crying so hard. I couldn't see. And a school bus was coming at me on some narrow back roads. Okay. Why were you crying so hard? What had you so sad, so upset, so flabbergasted, so bewildered that you were crying that hard? You feel me? But if you're typing this, I guess you're okay. So I'm glad the bus did not hit you. But dog, what was what 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 are you crying so much about? I was once chased around my house with a butcher knife because I took the last cookie. What? I'm telling you, bro, this is another white person activity. Who chases their child around or chases somebody around the house with a butcher knife for taking the last cookie? Who's your father? Legend of winning? I don't know. Nah, that's that's messed up. Why did I say love? Why? Why? Why did I do that? Why did I do that? Anyway, what type of family you living in, bro? <laughs> Alright, let's get on with the next one, bro. These are some wild ones, man. This is why I love doing these, for real. I love doing these. I once ran across the school parking lot holding my keep it PG, Matthew. Why did you say my real name? Well, y'all should know already. Because my, they were sore from my period. So when they bounced, it hurt. Y'all, y'all want to be going through some stuff like that? I mean, I know y'all be hurting when that time of month come around. But like, if they got y'all, your whole body. Another day, I'm glad I'm not a woman. Man, if you enjoy these, man like comment and subscribe to join the ride and be with your boy dime man we are going to do another part of this if y'all smash that like button for me man the like go probably 10 likes bro and if y'all put some more in the confession booth because like it's going to be in the description below and also in the comments so without further ado god bless peace out 100 <coughs> ta ha yes sir